Hi, and welcome back to our video course on Microsoft Word 2010. In our last video, we started looking about how we could use the table tools here and the design tab to format a table inside of Microsoft Word. And we're going to continue that in this video. I'm going to go ahead and change a few things right now, though. I want to go ahead and modify the background of this um, first row. I want to make the background darker and I want to make the fonts that are in this row um, lighter or white. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight those and I'm going to right click. Now we're used to seeing the normal right click menu but if you haven't used a recent version of Microsoft Word this little formatting menu may come as a surprise to you. And this is in addition to this shortcut menu that gives you the most frequently used formatting commands. For example, I can change the font from here, or I can adjust the size, either by clicking the drop down arrow or by using my grow and shrink buttons. I'm going to go ahead and make these a little bit larger, just like that. I can also change the font color here, apply centering, or make things bold and italic. And I want to go ahead and change the font color here to white. Since I'm in a table, I also have my shading border and border options, and there's also a shortcut to the format painter there. So I'm going to click the drop down for shading, and I'm going to select not that color, because that's going to be um, a bit too different. I'll select, um, select this darker orange here. There we go. And now I'll just go ahead and adjust my columns a little bit so that first name doesn't wrap. And there I go. So I'm able to change quite a few options using this formatting palette down here. Now, the next thing that I want to go ahead and do is come here to the Layout tab. And the Layout tab is going to let you do quite a few things. Now, you saw how we could right click and insert rows and columns. But instead of right clicking, if you prefer, you can come up here and use these insert options. You can also use the delete option here to delete cells, columns, rows, or an entire table. And again, that's also on the right click menu as well, depending on what you have selected or what you've clicked on. So we have the insert and delete options right there. We also have an option to view the grid lines or to hide the grid lines, and we can go to our selection tool. But most important here is the properties button. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight this row and then click on properties. And you're going to see it brings up the table properties for the entire table. So I can change the width of the table if I would wanted to. I can change the way it's aligned relative to the text, or I can set an indent from the left just by selecting that there, or I can set some wrapping for this table. You know, do I want the table to interrupt the text, or do I want it to wrap around the text? I've got an option for borders and shading here as well. Now, if I come to the Row tab, I can specify the height as either a certain amount at least meaning it'll get bigger, or exactly, meaning that it will be exactly that tall no matter what the content does. I can choose to allow rows to break across pages. I usually uncheck that for large tables that may have quite a bit of data inside of them. So I'll go ahead and uncheck that. And you can also choose to repeat as headers the top row at the top of each page. And again, if this is a, um, a multi-page table, that will be very helpful for you. As far as columns go, you can set the preferred column width also. This is the way that you would make several columns the same width. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of what I'm doing right now. I'm going to select these three columns right there. And I may want all these three to be the same. So I'm going to click on Properties and click on Column. And I'm going to say the preferred width in inches of this, these is exactly half an inch, or 0.5. And when I click OK, it will resize those so they're now half an inch. 
So we have some um, additional options here as far as properties go. Now you also have the cell properties, and this, these are the ones actually I've been going for for a little while. Notice that this row, the contents of this row are aligned to the top. And you can see I've set the vertical alignment to top there. You can select center or bottom. I'm going to go ahead and select center and then click OK. And now you're going to see the way your um, header looks much better than having them bumped up all the way to the top there. Now, some of these options that are inside of properties, you can get to from outside of that dialog box. For example, I can change the alignment of the cells from right here, as well as determine the text direction of the cells. Let me go ahead and highlight those three and click on text direction, and you'll see what that does. I can click it again, and it flips it. Click it again, and it brings it on back there. So maybe I want to uh, maybe I want to highlight all those and have it look like that, and then I can drag my row on up, and you can see the way that's going to look. And actually, I don't like that very much, so I'm going to go ahead and return it back to normal there. And I can also set the margins of my cell. So I can set a certain amount of space from the top of the margin, the bottom of the margin, the left and the right. And I can put spacing in between the cells if I want here. Finally, I have an option to automatically resize to fit contents from right here. And a lot of people uncheck that because as you're typing, Word will dynamically begin to adjust your column widths for you. So a lot of people don't like that, and they uncheck that option. I actually mm -hmm. don't mind it, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. And when I click OK, you'll see the result. And I actually need to make this just a little bit wider so that last name can fit in there. There I go. So those are some additional properties that you can work with inside of um, your tables, inside of Microsoft um, Word.